Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 28 of Direwolf20's... Oh boy, creepers. Ah, poisonous spiders. I hate poisonous spiders more than anything. Uh, let's play series? Yes, that's the end of the sentence I was just saying. Ah, oh boy, creeper. Blindness is bad. Actually, let me move this. AMUI, CFG. I like my buffs to be up here, so it's a little bit easier to see. That's ours magical, by the way. Okay, uh, Mother Creeper, uh, okay, cool, we're good, we're good. Uh, I'm running around, uh, I hate these things. Not only because they're like really deadly poisonously bad, but like they also have bad things happening. Like poisoning me and blindness and poisoning me to death. I'm just gonna fly up here until this thing wears off. They're really hard to hit. Because they're so small. All right. Is there something spawning these things up here? I really need to... All right. Looking better. Cool. So I'm underground mining, kind of. Not really. Uh, I'm not exactly mining for resources, obviously, because I ran a quarry recently, got a good deal of resources, and I've been using them pretty extensively. Um, though I wouldn't mind a little bit extra gold here and there. Anytime I find that stuff is a good day. Uh, what I'm actually looking for is some berry bushes. Um, there's a bunch of different berry bushes that are available added by, um, I think most of them are added by tinkers, like that. There's an example of an essence berry bush. Let's turn this guy back on. Yes, tinkers construct adds the essence berry bush, or the uh, tin berry bush, but this, here we go, that's what I'm looking for, an essence berry bush. Yoink. Um, this thing drops concentrated essence berries. Uh, and when you eat it, watch my experience bar, Yum. You get some experience. Cool. Now, unlike the other berry bushes, this will not grow to a height of three. Once you get one, that's all you get. So you want to find them underground as much as you can. Uh, now, the other good thing about this is, ooh, what do we have back here? Check this out. I just found also back here this nifty little area. I want to show you this on camera. Look what I found in here. Nice. Peabody's portal gun. Awesome. Uh, a couple other things. Steel leggings I'll take. The music disc I'll take. I don't need any of that stuff. Ooh, a miniature red heart container. I'll definitely take you. Uh, so definitely a pretty good day where I found uh, both a portal gun and some essence berries. And I even have, I either through uh, previous mining or through the um, the, the system of uh, quarry that I ran, I got six of those ore berry bushes. So I'm actually in pretty good shape with my ore berries. Uh, so I've been just kind of running around down here, sticking around, trying to find some good stuff. And so so far, I found pretty much what I was looking for, and then some. Uh, and of course, I'm grabbing emeralds anytime I find them, because they're always rare and useful to have. So that's what I've been working on at the moment. So what do I want to do with Essence Berries? So in uh, a couple episodes back, I went ahead and made this nifty little experience thingy, right? I would like to improve upon that today and uh, do even better by way of experience. So what I'd like to do is try and get these Essence Berry bushes automated so that I can do a bit of experience gathering with them. So we're going to do our best to try and get that going. So that's what I'm going to work on today. Um, I also might need to make a little tweak to my um, automatic system of... Um, um, the cactus farm. So I'm definitely using more cactus than I'm making at the moment, and I have to find my way out of this cave. Where am I? Kind of know where I am, mostly. I think it's up here that I want to go. Yes, this looks familiar. Uh, definitely using more cactus than I'm making, but the good news is um, that this nifty lamp that we made last episode, so if you missed last episode, I focused a lot on getting this awesome lamp from Thalmcraft, which makes things grow faster. That also works on cactus, um, so I could move the lamp over to the cactus side of things. I might actually do that. might want to just like grab these lamps, turn them off for a minute, and kind of let the cactus grow for a while. So look, we can see one's on at the moment, but it's about to wear out, it looks like. See, it's kind of flickering. I think that means it's about to burn out, and we need some more essence in there to get it working again. So why don't I break these lamps? I might even request a chest. Let's do that. To have over here. So what I'm going to let this do is let this thing fill up. Then once I've got some herb in there, I'm going to move it over to my cactus farm and show you guys just how awesome the cactus farm is with this lamp on it. Uh, in the meantime, let's dump some of our items into so all the junk I got while I was down there mining. Yeah, good times. 
you can go away, all this stuff can go. I will show you the portal gun in a moment. I'm very excited that I found a portal gun. These things are pretty hard to get usually. Um, you have to create a miniature black hole, which requires a nether star. But if you're lucky, you'll find one in a dungeon chest, and that is kind of the best thing that you're going to get. Uh, so let's see. We should have a chest in here. Cool. So I'll just pop this guy right here. It won't hurt. And I'll leave my lamps of growth in there for the time being. See? We're already getting some uh, herba. It's uh, pretty quick to refill once we turn the lamps off. So that should be a good thing. So I'm going to let that fill up a little bit. Uh, why don't I show you guys this awesome gun that I found called the Portal Gun. That's right. It comes from the Portal Gun mod, uh, which is based off uh, Portal Gun the video game. And it's really easy. Right click to place one portal. Left click to place another portal. And you can step through. Ta-da! So awesome. So that's actually very useful and helpful. I'm going to want to craft um, a portal gun in the future. So the fact that I got this is really useful and nice because it's going to just make my life a lot easier, uh, especially, you know, for recording purposes, because I always have to, like, kind of cut the video and run a long distance if I wanted to go somewhere like my quarry. Now it'll be a little bit easier to handle that. Uh, but I'll definitely be crafting a portal gun in the near future because I'm going to want to uh, do some cool stuff with portal gun and uh, some of the mechanics involved in it. But for now, let me uh, get situated here, and I think we're going to start working on automating these essence berry bushes. Let's take a look. All right, guys, so let's start off by getting ourselves set up with some essence berry bushes. So I've got them in my inventory here, the seven that I've got available. These things are somewhat hard to come by, so anytime you find one on the ground, do yourself a favor and just grab it. I don't care what you got, what you got to do to get rid of it, whatever. Um, just pick this thing up as soon as you can. Uh, what I'm going to do is place them down here in this nifty little underground area that I kind of cleared out uh, some space for it. Cool, right? Uh, let's see. This looks like it should be good, I think. Um, kind of want to make sure I've got enough room for everything, but I think we'll be all right. Um, so this is it, right? But here's the deal. Uh, these things need to grow in darkness. So we need to make it nice and dark in that room. How can we do that? We can either get rid of torches or use something cool from a mod. What do you think I'm going to do? Ah, we're going to use something cool from a mod. It's called the blackout curtains. These are really nice. Uh, they're simply curtains that block out any light, but allow the player to walk right through them. So I'm just going to place them right here. And you can see it's already getting darker. Pretty cool, right? Uh, they're a little tricky to place because they're so thin, but the player can walk right through them, as you can see. And they do a great job of blocking out the light that's in there. So we might need a little bit more, actually, than I've got ready here. But I can get a few more pieces of... Sounds like some nasty monsters out there. Six pieces of wool in total, uh, for the record. Come on, Ender Pouch, fill up with wool. Let's go. I think it's coming all the way from my farm. There it goes. Okay. Yeah, that's right, it's coming all the way from the wool farm. Not a big deal. More blackout curtains. So these guys will make it so that light is uh, not allowed through into this area. Ta-da! And now it's pitch black in here. See how barely any light's allowed to get through these blackout curtains, even with a torch right next to it? And we can even see with F7 here, it's dark enough to spawn a monster one block away from where there is a torch. Okay, so this is good. We can already see the essence berry bushes starting to grow. Mm -hmm. Once they reach full size, what we're going to wind up with is um, bushes that are starting to produce those essence berries. And all we got to do is right click them to get the essence bush uh, and get the berries themselves. Cool. Let's move on to the next step. All right, guys, we're back. And look what I've got with me. Haha. -ha. That's right. I've got a little bit of a lamp of growth going on. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to cause a problem with it being too bright in here, but we're going to find out. I mean, it doesn't seem to be emitting that much light. It's like a redstone's level of light. And I snagged this guy. Let's see. I don't even know if it gets brighter in here once that does its thing. Oh, it does. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to find out if this is a problem or not, aren't we? But this should, in my theory, increase the speed of these things. And remember, these little essence berries and all kinds of berries can give a player damage when they walk too closer on them, so... Be careful about walking into that block. But in theory, this should increase the speed at which these things at least grow to their full size. Now, I'm not sure if the brightness of the light is too much for it to... Oh, look. Oh, we did get berries. Nice. Look at that. Awesome. So we've got a berry here. And we're ready to harvest it. How are we going to do that? Let's go find out. Man, I could use this essence stuff. There's a new item in Thawncraft, which I've been checking out on, on the Forgecraft server, that I would love to use right now, but it's not in the current version of the pack, and I don't think it's publicly released yet. But as soon as it is, I am going to take full advantage of it, and it's going to really help out 
with uh, some of this lamp of growth stuff because this thing is just awesome. I mean, it works on a lot of stuff. All right, I want to make autonomous activators. These are from Thermal Expansion, and they are awesome. I don't think I've used them anywhere yet this season, have I? I don't think so. Not on the single player. So we'll find out in a minute here. How's stuff going? All right, yeah, we're rocking. All right, so what's this guy do? Oh, did we just get another thing of growth? I think we did. Cool. Like I said, not sure if the lamp's affecting it, but it does seem to be speeding things up a little bit. Cool. All right, so the autonomous activator, what's it do? Good question. The autonomous activator can act like a player, and it can either left or right click things. It can simulate sneaking or not sneaking. It can sig sig uh, specify which items to left or right click, and it can even aim above, below, or at the same level as the current block. And you can use it uh, with redstone control, turn it on and off, and then uh, you can also uh, pump items in and out of it. So it's pretty awesome in the amount of things you can do. Um, what I want to do is configure this thing to right click. So basically, as I told you guys, you need to right click on your essence berries to get the berries to pop off, right? So if we were to, for example, place an item in here and simulate a right click, you'll see that it right clicked the block, which would place it. But that's not what we're going to do here. We're going to set this thing up to simulate right clicking on these essence berry things. So let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Now, hopefully I can place this just like so and ta-da, it already got popped into my inventory. Look at that. Cool. Uh, now, where did it go? I thought I saw it pop out somewhere. I don't see it in my inventory anywhere. Okay, neat. It's interesting. Where's it going? Is there like a sinking issue here? Let me log out real quick and come back. All right, so I'm not sure if this is what's happening, but we're about to find out. Let's see. I'm waiting on a chest to show up here. If I place a chest here and then break this guy. What might be happening is the item is, no, it didn't go in there. Interesting. So where the heck is that thing going? That's the question. So I definitely saw it pop off, so it should be working. Let me just give it a few minutes here and we'll see if uh, any more grow. What I'm gonna do is um, pretty much plant these all around under here. Kind of like this. And I mean, we're gonna kind of leave room for growth later on. We'll probably want a couple more of them. Um, but at least for now, let's go back up to human form. It'll be a little easier to place this stuff. Cool. Like I said, not sure where the items are going, but I'm definitely going to set it up so that we collect the essence berries once they're picked up. There we go. Nice, right? So this should manage these. We'll see, though. A little concerned about the fact that it's not working as well as I had hoped, but eh, we'll see what happens. Um, so I think next step should be let's get some item ducks. Do I have any of those? Handy. Item ducks. Uh, I've only got four. All right. Let's get some stuff going on then. Item ducks. We'll get the four that we've got. But then we'll get some of the hardened glass that we should have laying around somewhere. Hardened glass. Yeah, we'll get four of them. And some tin. Uh, eight. There it all comes. Cool. Making its way over. Sweet. Just a few more item ducks here. Let's hook these up. And you know what else I'm going to want is some wood. Ten of those and one of these. Or nine, doesn't really matter. I should consider hooking up um, gold pipes here. It would make it a little bit faster, but I don't think it would make it that much faster because logistics pipes do kind of kick items out at a pretty high speed. So. I don't think they would be all that much faster. But what I want to do is start collecting my essence berries inside of a barrel. So let's hook this up. And of course, a good solution here would be going into bat mode at this point. And what I think I'll do is place the barrel right here. And we'll just pipe it along the back here would be a nice place, right? How's that sound? Cool. So let's run this down here like this and see how well we can get this to work. So I was only using the cobblestone to make it easier to place stuff. For now, at least, this will do. 
here and here. So let's get item ducks. And run them over to here. Now I'm pretty sure that I won't have to actually activate these things with a redstone signal because the blocks are set to output to the bottom like that. So any items that do get dropped in there should connect up just fine. So we'll give this a little bit of time and hopefully what we'll see is um, some items going ahead and showing up in that barrel. Hopefully. Um, let's see. If I were to put something in here, would it get pulled out? Probably not. Because it's trying to right click that thing. So yeah, let's see what happens. I'm going to give it a little bit of time and we'll come back and we'll see if we start getting essence berries. If not, there's another way we can do this, but this should work. Uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem. And this is all good. Uh, it's upside down. There we go. Much better. All right, back in a moment. All right, I figured out what's going on here. These autonomous activators are being really cool and kind of doing something that I didn't think they would do. Um, what's happening is the item, as soon as it gets knocked off here by the autonomous activator, is going into the autonomous activator's inventory, and then it's getting right-clicked, as if a player had right-clicked it. Uh, I was going to use these to right-click the essence berries and turn them into experience orbs, but if you look back at the video, and if you look just now, I just gained experience. How'd that happen? It's because the essence berry got pulled into the autonomous activator, and then... Um, was automatically converted into experience because it got right-clicked. Um, what I'm thinking here is first slot only. Let's try this. If I configure this guy to be first slot only, what's going to happen? That sounds like a good way to do this, right? So first slot only. Let me set all these this way, and we'll see what goes on from here. All right, so let's take a look at these things. Am I right about this? Oh, look, yes, we've got some concentrated essence berries. Look at that. So we're definitely getting some in here. Um, they are doing as we thought and collecting essence berries. Yes, see? So we're definitely getting some. Uh, so what I did is, in preparation for this, made some pneumatic servos. Let's get one of those guys, like you, and uh, just install some pneumatic servos in here and configure this like so. What we'll say is um, whitelist items, concentrated ore berries are the only thing you should pull out, and redstone signal low, and then the same for this guy. This guy actually has stuff in it, so we'll see this work. So whitelist, ore berry, redstone signal low, and it should pull the ore berries out and leave the cobblestone there so that it can be used to right click things. There we go. Now we're talking. All right, let me configure all of these to be the same. Whitelist, concentrated ore berries, Low, back in a moment. Excellent, check it out. Ore berries, 15 of them, awesome. So we're collecting a bunch of the ore berries. I'm very pleased for that. Uh, we'll let this thing sit in here for a few minutes. Like I said, not 100% sure if this is actually affecting these things or not, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and feel like they might be. I mean, we just got, now we're up to 17, so I have no idea like what you know, kind of frequency we would normally be getting out of the ore berries compared to what we're getting now, 18. I mean, it looks pretty good, uh, but like I said, not too sure. Uh, so now let's move on to the next stage of this build, which is converting these ore berries into liquid experience. And it's actually going to be using something very similar to what we just accidentally did. We're going to pipe them into one of these things, an autonomous activator. That's going to turn them into experience orbs, but how do we turn them into liquid experience? That's the question we need to get. So we're going to have to do something that gets it drained into liquid experience like so. Don't worry, there's a way. So what I've just requested is a hopper, an ender pearl, and obsidian. These guys come together to make something very cool and fun. The vacuum hopper. So the vacuum hopper is cool. Uh, check this thing out, right? So basically you place the vacuum hopper down and it's got awesome little ender-ish particle effects and it acts like, you guessed it, a vacuum. Ta-da! It sucks items into it. The best part, though, is it also sucks in experience, but you have to configure it a little bit correctly to make sure that it's going to work, okay? So I'll show you guys how to configure this thing so that it can suck up experience and items. All right, let's have a look. So I'm going to break this thing here, and there it is. Got the vacuum hopper. We're going to want, because liquid experience is a fluid, some fluid ducts, okay? Uh, let's just get the six that we have there. That should be plenty. I mean, we'll kind of see how things go. Um probably going to eventually want to have like tons of liquid experience but for now we're just going to go with uh let's see how are we for like a nice simple tank um i could make an iron tank now 
Let's get just a basic tank to set this up, and then we'll move it into an iron tank at some point. So let's get just a real simple portable tank, so copper and glass. So I just need one piece of copper. One, please. Do your thing. Thank you. Much appreciated. All right, so copper, glass, portable, good to go. So for initial proof of concept to demonstrate this thing working, I'm just going to place down the autonomous activator, okay? I'm going to place down a portable tank. I'm going to place down the vacuum hopper, like right here-ish. That looks like a good spot. And then we're going to get the fluid ducts going from the vacuum hopper into the portable tank, okay? We're going to set this thing up to pull. And we'll even go ahead and install a quick pneumatic tube in there just so we don't have to have a lever nearby, okay? So we'll just say ignore redstone, pull out whatever liquid you want. Over here, we want to configure this guy and we can specify the experience outputs. So the different sides of the vacuum hopper are represented here. You can right click to turn this thing around and left click to activate an output. So I just activated an experience output on the right side of the block just like that. I could left click again to disable it, but I'm going to make sure that that's turned on. You must have one experience output set up, otherwise it won't try to absorb experience. Okay, so that's important. All right, uh, item outputs, we're not gonna worry about items because no items should be falling here, so we'll just leave that as is. And then all we gotta do is get these um, essence berries into this thing, okay? So I wanna make sure I'm not too nearby when I do this because I don't wanna be like me as a player picking up essences and stuff, but let's see what happens. Ta-da! So what's happening is really quickly, um, it's turning that experience into um, experience orbs. Uh, so you can see I just turned it off there and I got a little bit, but uh, the vacuum hopper is picking it up very quickly. So let's throw a few more in there. So I'm trying to stay far back. So we can see inside there's like a little internal thing going on here. Uh, let's see if I turn that off for a moment. Get a few more. This is awesome, it's working perfectly. I wasn't sure initially when I was first like planning this design if this would work, but I was surprised to see that it actually does. I thought that uh, essence barriers when you right clicked them just gave the player experience, but it does actually turn them into experience orbs that are then picked up by the player. So that's why the autonomous activator is working. So they're quickly getting sucked up into the vacuum hopper, its own little internal buffer, and then uh, turning this thing back on, we can see obviously it's getting poured right in and everything's working great. So we've got automation around liquid experience. How cool is that? So for now, what I'm gonna do is leave this little essence berry farm here going. It's gonna continuously collect essence berries for me. We've got 20 in there remaining, but we've got a nice little bit of uh, essence in our portable tank. I'm pretty excited by that. Let's go upstairs and take a look at our little automation thing that we could do next. So what I want to have eventually is a nice big iron tank full of this nice essence stuff and then start using it for all kinds of good enchanting purposes and maybe even make like an auto anvil or something like that. So we've got the auto enchantment table. We could also take a look at the um, auto anvil, which is right there from open blocks. And we can, you know, see what kind of other cool stuff we could use this liquid essence for. But I mean, the enchantment table is kind of where it's at. Nice. These spiders are trying to get to me. I'm gonna go kill them. All right, so let's get that next piece set up. Uh, let's do it probably right here, I think, would be a good spot. My plan is to expand this room that I'm currently in, obviously. Like, you know, it's not nearly enough, large enough to hold all the tanks that I'm gonna want. I'm pretty sure what I wanna do is something along the lines of, um, hmm. Got that going to that side. We'll probably want to pump our liquid essence, even though it's coming all the way around. We're probably gonna want to pump it into this side here, um, and then have kind of like the center line here to kind of go down, and we'll have like more tanks kind of going back in that direction. It's a rough idea. Uh, I I, I do have enough room to do another set here, so like another you know tank here and here before we really have to go much further. But for now, this will be a good setup. So let's build ourselves another tank. That's all I can plan? Yeah, I like that idea. Not you. So I made myself enough tank components here. Gonna break that guy, that looks good. And iron tank gauge. I want a couple more of these. Gotta love the shift click ability. It's my favorite. And I'm debating how I want to pull the liquid out. It's probably going to want to go up. So I might even have, I 
Not sure if I can pull out of the top of these tanks. I always forget the rules of iron tanks, if you can pull out of the top or not. I'm going to find out pretty much in a moment here. Why did you not work? What did I do wrong? You know what? This might not be allowed to be this. Let's see. Alright, either I'm very much derping or... Did I miss something somewhere? Let me see, I'll be right back. Let me look at this for a minute and realize what I did wrong, because I'm sure it was something stupid. Yeah, a little something stupid there. Let's see if that's better. Ha! Much better. All right, so that's what I get for talking and trying to build something at the same time. So let's see if I can put something in here. Not sure if I'll be able to pull out of there or not, but we'll find out in a moment, won't we? Cool. So let's, uh, I'm going to get some fluid ducts and run them over. All right, so this guy can come over to here. And you can see I've already kind of got this set up in the wall, ready to go. We'll break that dude. And... Put this in place, and we'll just set this guy to ignore redstone. Always pull liquid out. Um, let's also, just to have fun with it, uh, let's do... Well, I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. I lost that experience. It was such a small amount, I'm not too worried about it. Let's just grab a few of these. So we're getting a decent amount here. I'm pretty pleased about that. And let's put them in here and see what happens. So what we should wind up seeing is some liquid experience flowing right in. There it goes. Very small amount, obviously, at first, but we're good. Now, can I pump out of the top? That's really the question. If I can pump out of the top, we're good. If not, eh, we just have to do a little bit more wiring. But that's something I can deal with. Let me get another pneumatic servo. Which, by the way, I taught my AE system, or my um, logistics crafting system, how to make pneumatic servos. Because I wind up making a lot of those. They're really useful, especially for item and fluid ducts like that. So there goes all the good stuff. I do have to teach you how to make glass at some point, but we'll get there. Kinda thinking I'm gonna wait until I get some applied energistic stuff before I do any of that. Like I mentioned in the past, we're definitely gonna be playing with applied energistics. Don't ever think we won't, because it's such a cool and fun mod. Alright, so guess I can't pull out of the top. I didn't think I could, but I just wanted to test it to find out. Alright, so we're gonna have to break you. Uh, ooh, the problem is then that got a little bit of liquid experience. All right, let me get this out of here. All right, I'll be back in a moment. Uh, I guess what I have to do is, um, when you're breaking these, by the way, you can break any block except the bottom center, and that's probably where I'm going to want to pull the experience out of, unless I want to pull it out the back. Probably could work. I'm thinking the bottom, though. I'm probably going to want to pull it out the bottom. So I want to pull it out of the bottom center, but if I break that block, I'll lose the little bit of experience I've gotten there. So let's just be, like, really well-behaved about it. And we will pull this experience out. Right like so. And we'll pour it right into this portable tank. And this time we'll do it right and not completely derp it up. We will say ignore redstone. Comes out. There we go. Instead of breaking it with a pick, we should break it with a crescent hammer, and then it retains the liquid that it had. Much better, right? And then we can reconnect these guys so everything's working again. Now that this thing's empty, I can go ahead and break that guy, put a valve here, and then the iron tank will... Cool. And now I should be able to pull the liquid out of the bottom. In fact, I shouldn't even have to set it up to pull because any valve on the very bottom block like this should auto-dump into the tank, or into the pipe, I think. Eh, maybe I'm lying. Might do it with build craft pipes. Might not do it with the fluid ducts. All right, and we need to get that thing up to... all the way up to here. So I'd like to see. So, in fact, it's probably best to do it over to here. If I can just pump it right into that bit, it'll go through like that. So let's do that. That's not too bad, but it's probably not exactly where I want it to be. Let's just move it back a little bit. All right, I will be back in just a moment once I've run these fluid ducts. I probably have to craft a few more. Yeah, definitely. All right, so let's get these things run real quick. And then we're probably going to have to wrap up because I'm pretty sure we're pretty close here. So what I've done is put a cover here to make sure these things don't connect. 
Um, so what I want to do is kind of have this tank as like the main storage medium and then always keep enough upstairs uh, That's getting converted here and then we'll probably at some point pretty soon just run item ducts to automate this a little bit Let's see here. So what we're gonna want to do is connect this up like so oh, Nope, probably here. There we go And there we are nice, so that should connect Everything there should be good. All we gotta do is make sure this pulls out. Uh, all right, there's nothing in here. Derp. Uh, let's get some in there. So all I should have to do is put this here. Come on now. Stop misbehaving. There we go. And come back here, you. A little bit of lag going on, not sure why. I'm gonna have to take a look at that in a moment. I think it's my connection. All right. All right, guys, so I think we're in good shape here. I'm gonna snag a bunch of ore berries, throw them in here, and what we should wind up seeing happening is a bunch of liquid experience flowing in here, but immediately getting pulled out, sent upstairs, um, and you can see it kind of going up there. So you don't need to activate this thing. Like I said, I was pretty sure you didn't have to, so I don't have it even out in output mode. Because it's underneath the tank, it's gonna automatically dump out there. And sorry, just a little touch of internet connection issues, but hey, at least this happened at the end of the episode because unfortunately, we do have to hit the old wrapping up point here. So uh, for now, Direwall 20 signing off. Looks like we have almost a completely full reinforced portable tank here, which is perfect. We're getting stuff. So I'm going to switch this guy into output mode so that he drains into our enchantment table. So what we're going to have here is um, basically two things. We're going to have an enchantment table that'll always have tons of liquid experience built into it, and then a nice little buffer tank right here ready to uh, dump even more liquid experience into that enchantment table whenever it's needed. And then down here, we'll have a nice big large tank full of liquid experience. I'll probably want up eventually moving these fluid ducts and replacing them with uh, tesseracts but we're not ready to go crazy with tesseracts yet in terms of resources but we will probably at some point switch it up so for now like i said darwell 20 signing off hope you guys enjoyed the episode so this is completely automated the only thing i haven't done is set it up to pull the essence berries out of the um barrel here and drop them into the autonomous activator which shouldn't be too hard to do to be honest with you it should be really easy you guys can probably figure that out on your own i'll probably set it up at some point in the future either on or off camera depends we'll see but all you really have to do is set up item ducts, pull them out the bottom, send them into the uh, into here. We just have to change, like, we'll say, like, you know, the bottom here is where you'll put items in, right? So set it to blue mode, pipe the um, essence berries into there, and you're done. And it's completely and totally automated. Cool. All right, guys, Diable 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, the reason I'm keeping these on hand here, by the way, before I wrap up, is to say that um, I'm not, I haven't automated this yet because I do want to be able to uh, come over here and snag the berries and just click them myself to get experience. Um, in an upcoming update to open blocks, you will be able to, I want to say it's either left or right click. You guys have seen it on Forgecraft. If you watch the Forgecraft series, you can right or left click one of these um, tanks here and you'll uh, get the experience and you'll get one level per click but I don't think that's in the public release version yet but an upcoming update to the Diable 20 pack should have that functionality so for now I want to keep the essence berries as items so I can click them as I want but then once we get that update I'll definitely automate it so that we turn all our essence berries directly into liquid experience and store them in the iron tank with lots and lots of experience all right guys Diable 20 signing off hope you enjoyed the episode take it easy